Well, across the country, there are more than 1,100 St. Baldrick's events going on, including here in Syracuse at Kitty Hoynes, where inside more than 500 people shaving their heads today. They are all going bald for the same reason, to raise awareness and money to beat kids' cancer. There are lots of stories in this bar, but some of the most inspirational are the kids who show selfless support for other kids. I shaved my head for my sister because she has cancer and I was supporting her. She's gonna be like, you really did this for me? If you're watching, I love you and I hope you get better soon. Caitlin's sister Ashley was diagnosed with lymphoma in December. She's undergoing chemotherapy and is losing her hair. But now being bald doesn't make her different. She's going to be like, you look good. <laughs> She's one of my favorite cousins, and I really love her, and I really hope she gets better. I thought, what better way to help her than to shave my head? Every year, 160,000 children worldwide are diagnosed with cancer. It's the number one killer of kids in the U.S. But St. Baldrick's Foundation says research can save lives, which is why this event grows each year. In the last seven years, more than $78 million in grants have been given out, millions of that helping local research, too. But those who know a child going through all of this say winning the fight takes more than just money. It takes a support system of love and encouragement. She's one of my best friends, and she's very close to me, and I thought, you know, why not shave it for her? Because if I can show any support that and how much I love her, then why not do this? Reporting from Syracuse Tonight. I'm Caitlin Uclough.